Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a cart, a super fun cart. I'm excited about this. This is the Spellbinders 3D shopping cart. Um, I've created a couple of projects using a collection a while back um, by Becky Roberts. She created a shopping cart. Um, they look the same, but they're actually uh, reversed. So this cart is facing the right and then the original the first collection was facing the left so that it's nice to have um, options with the fun shopping cart now shopping carts are always fun because you can fill them with so many different things they're very easy to put together you can see there's not too many dies but there's accessories that can go with it and today I'm going to be using the um, in the garden um, die set the can coordinate with it. So I'm excited about this because I love creating three dimensional items and the shopping carts are super fun to put together. And then the um, accessories are fun to fill. So, so let's get to die cutting. We are going to start, there's actually two different sizes of carts that you can create. One is thicker, so if you want to actually fill it, um, party favors or or baby shower favors. I think this would be super cute, but there is a thicker one um, that you can use. Uh, a thicker base that you can widen it. You can see there's two different sizes of um, bottoms. I'm going to use the thinner one because it's going to be on a card. My project's going to be on a card today. And then these, this piece here is actually for the sides. So um, let's take some cardstock here. I'm going to use graph. I'm going to use some dark colored cardstock. You could use silver mirror cardstock, but I think um, graphite is going to work out great for my shopping cart. So it's nice because there is an insert. You can create a solid back. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to die cut out a solid back and then I'm going to add the insert and I'll die cut out the shopping cart um, front with this along with the bottom of the shopping cart and then the sides. You're going to need two of these for the sides of your shopping cart. For the base of my shopping cart, I'm going to use my Silver Fox cardstock. I'm going to die cut out my handle with that also. And then there's some extra little pieces I'm going to die cut out with in the wheels with black. And then I'm also going to die cut out my in the garden sets. Let's see, we have, I wanted some buckets in my basket. <laughs> Sounds like a country song. Buckets in my basket. And I have um, the new chamomile yellow is real pretty cardstock. And then I have uh, poppy field. And then I have waterfall. And then again, I have a piece of my Silver Fox, and we have Portobello, and some white cardstock. Okay, let's die cut out. There's a bucket, and then there's a top piece that goes with the bucket, and I'll die cut out three buckets in three different colors. There's a handle for the rake and the shovel. I want to die cut that out. I'm actually going to extend the length of my rake, so I want to die cut out three of those. And then we have a cute little summer hat. I'll die cut that out with white cardstock. And then there's a little scarf that goes around it. And what color do we want the scarf? I think I'll want the waterfall scarf. And then we have, there's a cute little um, birdhouse in here also. There is a little plaque that you can hang off of your cart. Um, this little piece is a chain, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to die cut out with my silver fox and white. I may not use my little plaque or my little sign, but we'll see. And then we have the rake and the shovel and the shovel handle. And I need some silver mirror card stock. Okay, so we have the shovel handle. I'll need one of those. These, this handle here goes for my buckets, so I'm going to die cut out three of those. And then you have the shovel and the rake. Those are going to go with silver. 
and then I'm gonna do a little bit of die cutting and when I'm done I will be right back we'll put, we'll put together a shopping cart filled with um, garden accessories I did go through my stash and I actually went through my latest pile um, this is the stitched flower and I thought the the leaf in here would be a nice little accent piece for my um, my little garden area stuff but we are gonna jump in and build a shopping cart really fun and easy to do this piece um, is it kind of looks like a skateboard <laughs> to me it does anyway um, there are score marks in here and you're gonna fold in the four um, the two sides and then fold up the left and the right you can see here just fold those in at the score marks it'll be really easy to do after you um, just follow along the score marks now after we have this done I'm gonna go ahead and take these two pieces they're two um, of the same sizes and then there's score marks here and here um, for one of those you're gonna to want to use your scissors and trim I'm just following along the score marks because we need um, a shorter one for the front of the shopping cart and then we need a longer one for the back of the shopping cart you can see here these are what makes the shopping cart pocket there is a angle on one of these and we can see it this way so you see the angle how it goes from high on the left to low on the bottom this is going to fit perfectly on this shopping cart here so let's zoom in and build a shopping cart really easy and quick um, you can use uh, tape if you wanted to but I'm going to go ahead and use my glue and all you do is add a little I'm going to flip over my cart here and I'm going to add a little bit of glue and that's quite a lot let's spread it out okay and then you add the piece that you fold it in you fold it in so it looks kind of like a staple then you just add this and you want to match um, the angle you can match the angle if you will and add it to the very edge of your cart and then you can add a little bit of glue on this side and you'll do the same thing with the shorter piece that you created just tack it down and then we can add a little bit of glue on the top. Tape is definitely less messy. And then you just add your top piece. You can line those up. Give the glue a little bit of time to dry. We can see kind of your pocket already. And if you wanted to dike it out too with... Um, the grids on the other side I think that would make it an adorable ornament I think I mentioned that in my very first video <laughs> now to put the bottom in it's very easy um, on all the areas that you fold it fold it in here you would just add a little bit of glue um, there's six areas where you want to grab glue three on each end Oops, and then all you have to do is pick up your skateboard. Um, you want to insert it, let it grab to the wall of the sides of your cart, and just hold it. Oh, you see how this? Oops, you see how this little piece wanted to get out? You want you want to add a little more glue and tuck that on on the inside. With glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room, which makes it really nice. Just hold those sides and then your cart is done so you have minus the glue you have the front is nice and clean the bottom the back you have the side and the side really easy to put together okay now we have the base of my shopping cart add a little glue to the top of this gray piece and of course if you want to use the silver mirror you can and then I'm gonna add my my cart here 
then you have the handle. I die cut out with my black cardstock, and I also die cut out the top piece of my handle with my silver fox. So I'm going to pick my handle piece up and adhere that to the base of my shopping cart handle so you can layer them perfectly together. And then we have another shopping cart element that goes the little bumper. <laughs> I die cut that out with my silver fox too and we're going to add this to the corner of our shopping cart. And then I'm going to add a little glue behind here. This will line up along the edge of your cart. If you wanted to put this on the inside, you could, but I don't think anybody's going to see the back side, so I'm going to put it on the back. We need wheels to our shopping cart. Now, when you die cut out the little donut pieces, you need the, the front and the back. And I'm going to add little dots of glue to the front of the tires. And I'm going to add my circles here right to the tires and then okay this you can add some dots of glue and put it behind let's do that when well, my glue's coming out thick <laughs> but you would just tack it behind after we have our shopping cart all done and it looks it was pretty easy to put together, huh? Now I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending on my pots. There's the top pieces in the bottom. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shading using the ink that's left over on my finger daubers. I think that's the best way. So let's add a little shading. Now we have all of our little shading done. Let's put together our buckets, which are really easy. I'm just going to add one line of glue. If you wanted to add foam adhesive to pop them up, you could. But I didn't want the dimension because I wanted to stack these. So let's add one bucket. We'll add another one. How cute is that? Now we can build... <laughs> let's, let's build... Um, I have a lot of elements to build our shovel. I die cut out two handles for our shovel, but we didn't need it. Okay, I have the rake piece. This is gonna take a little bit of time to dry, but that's okay. I have the rake that, there's two little dots that are embossed on your rake, and then there's two little dots on your rake handle. You just line those up. How cute. And I wanted to extend my rake, so I'm going to add one more. You can make your rake as long or as short as you want. And I wanted it to kind of be a little long. That's the part that always falls off in the garden. <laughs> Maybe, at least if it's just on my end, it always falls off. I think I'm really rough with my rakes. Okay, we're going to add a little glue to the bottom of our shovel. Then we can tack this down on top. And then we can add a little glue to the top of our shovel here. If you could put it behind or in front, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And we'll add our shovel handle. Very easy to put together so far. Aren't they adorable? So there is our shovel. Okay, now, last but not least, we have the little handles that go on our buckets. And I'm not sure where the handles go, but we're going to put them on the end of the top. So I'm going to add two little dots to all of my buckets. One, two. I'm going to use my tweezers because my hands are getting gluey. And then you just add your handle. So our buckets are all done, and I think they look so adorable. We have all of our elements done except for our little sign here. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And I'll take the top piece, and we'll just layer these together. 
then you can add this to the front of your cart here. How cute is that? I'm going to find some little flowers for that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my little flowers we die cut to our little sign. I think there's a stamp set that um, that has little elements that you could put on this little sign. Okay, I think that will work cute. We have some little flowers for a little cart. Okay, let's create a background to put all of our elements on. And I'm going to just do something really quick and easy and simple because I just love all the elements. I have a three um, one inch strips, one inch by four and a quarter inch strips. And I'm going to bring in my border die set. This is the Create a Slimline Border. I'm going to use this piece here. It kind of reminds me of tiles. And I'm going to die cut out um, each one of these with my border. Okay, after I have all of my borders die cut out, I thought we'd create a background with them. So I'm just going to use my tape runner and we'll adhere them to the bottom of my card base. Now we need to stamp our sentiment. For my card, I'm going to be using the shopping bag sentiments. I like the sentiment in here that says um, because I bought it on sale, I actually made money. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Okay, I went ahead. I want to. I went ahead and stacked. Since there's slits in my buckets, I'm gonna stack all three of these kind of wonky together. And with the red in the middle and the opposite colors of my background, I I'm gonna tape these down with some foam adhesive, so that I'm not gonna move anywhere actually put this little foam adhesive behind my, my little sign there. And then before we stamp our sentiment, I have it off to the side. I thought we made maybe better figure out our placement. We're going to add our greenery next. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I kind of know where I want to put it. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to use my VersaFine ink. pet's kind of dry. I want to make sure I stamp good. I don't have my misty, but I'm going to stamp this right here in this area. Lovely. And then we can add, we'll tuck another green rake and our shovel. And before we adhere it, I'm going to add this to my card base. Okay, I trimmed off a little bit off the top. Originally, I was going to go the full length of my card base, but I think we're just going to go um, a little bit shorter. So my panel actually measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I think I'm going to add my garden tools to the top of my shopping cart. I think I'm going to add this off to the side over here. I love how dimensional this is. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like you really fully loaded your cart. I just think that's so adorable. And then that will finish my card today using the brand new Add to Cart 2 collection. This is the right facing shopping cart. And I'll, again, I'll link the other video um, at the end. Of my, I'm not going to add no bells and whistles because I think it's pretty busy, but um, everything's listed below if you want to check it out. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.